we are asked to write four ordered pairs using polar coordinates for the given point. We know using rectangular coordinates or Cartesian coordinates, a point is given by the ordered pair x comma y as shown here in red. Using polar coordinates, the ordered pair is r comma theta, where r is the distance from the pole and the angle theta is the angle in standard position where the terminal side points toward the point. However, using polar coordinates when r is negative, the point is plotted in the opposite direction of the terminal side of angle theta, the absolute value of our units. For the first order pair, we want r to be greater than zero or positive, and theta to be greater than zero or positive. Well, notice how the point is four units from the pole. So if we were using a positive value for r, r is four. And we want theta to be positive, and since r is positive, we need the terminal side of the angle in standard position to point toward the given point, which means the smallest positive angle for angle theta would have the initial side along the positive x-axis, and the terminal side would be here, because we are rotating counterclockwise, the angle is positive 45 degrees. So in polar coordinates, four comma 45 degrees would be one ordered pair for the given point. However, the angle does not have to be 45 degrees. It can be any positive coterminal angle. For example, we could use 45 degrees plus multiples of 360 degrees, and the angle would still be correct because the terminal side would still point toward the given point. For the second ordered pair, we want r to be less than zero or negative, and theta to be greater than zero or positive. So if we are going to use a negative value for r, r is going to be negative four, but when r is negative four, the point is plotted in the opposite direction from the terminal side of the angle theta, which means if we want the point to be here, we need the terminal side of the angle theta to be in this direction, again, when r is negative. And because we want theta to be positive, we need to rotate counterclockwise from the positive x-axis, and therefore the smallest positive angle for angle theta when r is negative four would be this angle here, which is 180 plus 45, or 225 degrees. But again, any positive coterminal angle to 225 degrees would also be correct. So the next ordered pair, we want r to be greater than zero or positive, and theta to be less than zero or negative. So again, if r is positive, we know r has to be four. Because r is positive, the terminal side of the angle must point toward the given point, but because theta is negative, we now rotate clockwise from the positive x-axis. If we rotate clockwise, one possible negative angle would be this angle here, which would be negative 180, negative 270, negative 315 degrees. But again, any negative coterminal angle to negative 315 degrees would also be correct. And then finally for the fourth ordered pair, we want r to be less than zero or negative, and theta to be less than zero or negative. So again, if r is negative, we will use r equals negative four, which means the point is going to be plotted in the opposite direction of the terminal side of angle theta in standard position, which means if we want the point to be plotted here, we need the terminal side to be in the opposite direction when using a negative value for r. Because we want theta to be negative, Again, we rotate clockwise from the positive x-axis, and therefore the greatest negative angle we can use is this angle here, which is negative 90 plus negative 45, or negative 135 degrees. But again, any negative coterminal angle to negative 135 degrees would also be correct. I hope you found this helpful.